everyone to your chakra reading for the month. I hope you guys are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Welcome back to every subscriber and everyone. Okay, and anyone new, welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, if you're looking for a personal reading, you can find all the information in the description area. Also, I have my second channel in there as well. I'm going to get ready to uh, start doing some more videos for that meditation uh, channel. So let it go for a while so I can just focus on this and focus on my, my family life. And so now I want to start inter integrating that again, especially during this beautiful Taurus season since I am Taurus. So I want to take my doors and open them as much as possible. Okay, guys, so the first card coming out for you is ooh, what is this. This is going to be it between the throat chakra, ooh, the third eye, and the ooh, I'm in the knowing bringing in that unity of that crown chakra. It says, trust, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So it is time for you guys to trust within the universe of what's going on and also trust within your own higher self um, when it's coming to the communication of the uh, throat chakra, third eye, and crown chakra, which is going up the ladder here. That's going to be, of course, between your throat all the way up to the crown of your head, right? Um, and your third eye being between the brows. Okay, so it's just really saying it's time to trust. Trust within the universe. Trust within yourself. You know what you're doing, right? We all know. If we have that, you know, that unless you know you're in a self-doubt situation and you know it feels negative because there's a way of knowing when we feel negative and that means we're not trusting within that situation, right? Do not allow confusion to become your you know, your bestest friend, because that does not help you, right? We want to trust. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. This is through the success. So trust within the success within yourself. You know what is good and what is not good when it comes to this. You know that there's a success waiting out there for you, right? Do not downplay yourself is really what this really feels right like with worry. I'm not going to get that job. I'm not good enough. Why? You're just as good as everybody else. Maybe there's, a, you know, there's always going to be someone better than us. Okay, we're just built that way. You know, it's kind of like, you know, if you're, you're a wrestler and you hold that gold belt, you're only going to hold that gold belt for so long because there's going to be a wrestler that's going to take it, you know what I mean? There's always going to be somebody better than you at certain things, but that should never worry you because no matter what, when it comes down to the thing, how much should you give, how much you try, you know what you're worth, right? We're all worth something. And I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Worry does not change an outcome. If anything, it makes us sick. So why are you doubting it? Just trust within the situation. I would say, it's, you know, it's better to walk in and trust within the situation and try than to hold back and do the play victim thing of, oh, my God, I'm so worried. Oh, I'm not going to do this. Oh, I'm not good. But you never tried, you know. It's better to try and be let down than to never try at all, right? Because you just don't know. But sitting around worrying just makes us sick with anxiety. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Absolutely. So you give it all. You open up your heart chakra. You give everything that you give to whatever it is you want, Right? If it doesn't work, you go back at it. You go back to the drawing board. It's kind of like falling off that horse. You dust yourself off and you know, kind of laugh and say, you know what? I didn't, I didn't work. Let's do it again. No matter what the, situ you know, what the situation is, the scenario is the situation. Find a little humor in life and say, you know what? Well, it didn't fucking work, so let's go, let's go try somewhere else. So many people will just, they don't, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and then they're just like, you know what, you get into this place of feeling useless, or feeling like I can't find my purpose, or feeling like everywhere I go, I'm always let down, or, and this is why a lot of people stop loving, but in seriousness, once you raise that vibration, and stop worrying about the way things are going, and stop using Steve as an example for everybody, change the vibrations, you stop running into Steve. Stop using the last job as your vibration and you'll stop running into these asshole managers, right? Because vibration is what we attract. And your chakras know that because the chakra is the center of your energy. So when they say you see your aura, well, if you see your aura 
It's based mostly on your chakra. You know, put on a mood ring. Now I say, sometimes though, some of those really crappy ones though, some of them do actually work. It's kind of crazy. Always say, get, always get yourself a really good mood ring. You know, it will actually help you understand what chakras do because that's your natural energy. That's your energy force. You know, you can put those, if you get a really good uh, mood ring, you can put it on a tree and actually feel and see what the tree feels. Everything in the world has chakra. Your dog, you can put it next to your dog. The kids used to do it to the dog all the time when we were young. See how the dog felt. Now, the dogs are funny. You know, animals are funny because those things never really change in energy a whole lot. When they get super excited, it does change, though, like when it's time for them to eat or you have a biscuit, you know. Kids put it on them when they have a biscuit, you know, and it will actually change colors. You will see the vibration of the dog actually change, right? So it's crazy, right? So it, it is kind of crazy. So I realize fear. I realize I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And we're talking about that love because it's talking about that self-love, right? Don't, you know, don't fear yourself. Don't fear, because fear doesn't get you anywhere. And I love that. It's going to go right underneath the, the worry. The lighter or harder that we are about the situation, that's why I love the humor over here next to the success, because the light harder that we are about the situation, you realize when you get rid of all of this negative over here, you're going to actually feel like you're it's succeeding more. Or when you are let down, you'll just find a little humor in it. Like, okay, that didn't fucking work. Of course, you're human. You're still going to be upset about the situation. But once you get out of that, remember, every action has a reaction. But how long are you going to sit in that reaction? Let's not sit in that reaction too long. Let's just say, you know what, maybe that, was, maybe that wasn't good for me. Maybe I was not put in that scenario because maybe there was a bad scenario there. Maybe there was something that that job had that wasn't good for me. Maybe I've been tested too much with being with assholes. And there's a lot of assholes that work there. So maybe God did not allow me to be there. My higher self, God, the universe, however you want to see it, did not allow me to be there energies thereof because I don't need to be in that type of situation again because that's what I was vibrating when I figured out this job. What was I vibrating? Low energy. So where am I trying to put myself? Into low energy. And Spirit says you don't need any more low energy. Maybe that person and I didn't work out very well because he's going to turn out to be an asshole in the end, right? So they're going to take you out now before it ends up getting blown out of, out of the water, before bad things happen. A lot of people say, man, and I lost a really good guy. Did you really lose a good guy, though? I mean, I don't know. Did you meet his last girlfriend? I mean, did we really lose somebody good? Or were we, we protected from somebody who was playing a game with us then who is going to end up turning into somebody we don't know? And I know that or, you know, 100, you know, are they messing around behind our back with things that we don't understand or don't know that's going on? So we may have just been protected. We learned a valuable lesson, right? And sometimes down the road, you realize, wow, I just saved my ass from something. Yeah, I had a boyfriend once. Yeah, I had a boyfriend once. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally I had a boyfriend once before I got married, right? I had a boyfriend once. <clears throat> He's, uh, he committed suicide, rest in peace. I think, it's, I think it was 2013, I think it was. I think it was, yeah, 2013, just before my, my dad died. But it was, a, it was a blessing, actually. I didn't stay with him much longer because I guess within the, number one, he cheated on me. We're you know, only in high school, so I'm not really, I wasn't like getting ready to get married or nothing, you know what I mean? But he did cheat on me when I was gone. So when I got back, you know, I found out all these horrible things he was doing, you know, while I was away. And I was just sitting there thinking, you know, and even though I was gone on vacation, I thought he was doing all that stuff behind my back, you know, while I was there. He ended up getting a girl pregnant. And then about four months after I broke up with him, you know, he started doing heavy drugs. But I was told in the scenario that he was already doing some heavy drugs, which I was oblivious to at the time. But I guess he was already doing some heavy drugs 
when I was with him and I didn't even know that. So see, in the end, amen to that. It was a blessing. <laughs> so for you guys, this is nothing but a blessing, you know, in disguise. Um, you know, there's a lot of blessings in disguise. And it says the more that you trust and you have success in the humor, right, you're going to find more blessings in disguise. You're going to find all your things starting to really come together for you. You're going to find that, you know what, I don't need to have these things right around me, you know, because there's a, I just feel like there's a lot of things that are going on in your life right now. And I just, my intuition is just really picking up that you've been really nurtured through a lot of the things that you feel like were downfalls that were actually protection. I just really, really a lot of protection. Um, with, and you might not, you know, you, you may never see that, you know, maybe if I bring them up to light now, maybe you will start realizing how many times you've actually been protected, right? If you go back and kind of see things. So, you know, yeah, really focusing on things that really bring you motivation, really truth seeking and really looking at things is actually going to allow the fear to go away. Right. And it's going to bring in this fast action. You know, the humor of the situation, you know, you can start looking back at things. You can start, you know, realizing, you know what, I do want to change this energy because, you know what, things do, you know, have been have been there for my own protection and I can find peace. And when these things come back around, I can see them now as a protection in many ways, you know, unless I know I just really screwed that job up. I mean, if I really just, you know what, just really screwed that job up, you know, I just, I did, I came in late to work, you know, and they just fired, you know what I mean? But then, you know, maybe it's also, we can sometimes say, you know what, but it's kind of crazy because I've even seen those stories too where it's kind of like, and I screwed up and I, you know, I slept on the job, did things like that. But in the end, it was still a blessing because now I have a job that pays so much better and I am so much better at. Maybe you were worn down in that job. Maybe that job was a low energy job that maybe you just didn't really truly want to be there to begin with. That's why you kept coming in late. Oh, I know. Maybe we were partying and having all this and that, right? Because we have lessons in life. You know, there's those scenarios too. But in the end, it's kind of like now I have a really good job where I can focus and I don't really want to go out partying all the time because I have this awesome job. Sometimes we have to kind of see things in different lights. It's all about perception. It's all about perception. But the fear and the worry of where I'm going in life is not going to help any scenario. See, it's just self-sabotage. So we really want to just really go on the purpose of the situation. Really start looking back at things, right? And really trust yourself and say, you know what? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting scenarios. Those things bring up new things and new ideas. Putting us back on track of where we really need to be. Yeah, soul healing. Really start healing the soul, feeling like we're really going after what's truly meant for us, you know, really, really, whether it's in relationships, oh, I love that, whatever kind of relationship it is, it doesn't matter, it could be a friend relationship, relationships at work, relationship with work, love relationship, family relationship, but it also brings in life purpose and the abundance to the situation, really putting you back on track, but you have to really trust in the situation. Right? Because allowing yourself to only feel the negative within yourself or having others do it for you, bringing in that negativity is, you know what? Do not allow others to 100% put the trust of where your intuition really is. Don't let them guide you. You need to allow yourself to guide you. They can help you by giving advice, but they can't really be that sole interpreter for you on which way in life it needs to be. It needs to go on you, unless you guys can really come down to pros and cons of the situation and really work together. Now, that's what I always say, right? Now, that's a real, that's a good partnership, right? That That's where it's all at, right? If you can do that. Very beautiful reading, guys. And it says you have the Nine of Cups. So you keep going strong and going after your heart's desire and you definitely will see exactly what's coming towards you. You'll feel that comfort within yourself. Really trusting within yourself brings in that wish fulfillment, brings in that trust and that, 
And like I said, that comfort. Wow. That is a beautiful reading. Love begins. A lot of heart over here. A lot of heart. Because no matter what, it's going to go through the throat chakra to the third eye to the crown chakra. Really understanding things. Then you're going to start grounding yourself with your root chakras. Really getting into those natural instincts. Okay. And then it's really going to pound open that heart chakra right, for the things you're passionate about, really start moving things for you, then you're going to find all the intentions really coming through. Because, look, you already had intentions over here anyway. The card is yellow. That's saying, I have the intention. This is where my intentions are. But I have to get through all the fear and all of this and all of the imbalance first. So really having to balance. Wow. Okay, guys. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.